Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. It's Patch Tuesday again. Uh, this week we have, or this month, I guess, we have fewer than normal with only 73 total exploits patched, but some of them that are patched are pretty bad. Uh, there's six critical, there's one that's already exploited, and there's two that are already known that haven't been exploited yet. Uh, some of the critical ones are real bad. We'll kind of dive into what we can do about those uh, before we can get patched and tested. Uh, the first one we want to cover is this CVE 2022-26925. This is the one that is uh, actively being exploited, but it's probably the least critical of the ones we're going to cover. Uh, it uses the local system authority uh, for authentication against the domain controller. It spoofs that so they can log in. Uh, the, I mean, the attack vectors network, it requires no privileges and no user interaction. And actually paired with another KB, it is a 9.8, so it is still pretty bad. It's just still currently rated as only an 8.1. Uh, so this is just one that you want to patch. It's already out in the wild. The only thing keeping it low, I think, is the attack complexity for this one is is very high. Uh, the next one we're going to cover is the 2022-26937. This is a network file system, remote code execution. Uh, NFS is used in a lot of environments. It's widely used, and this is the same thing. It's network. It has low attack complexity. It requires no user interaction and no authentication, which is really bad. That's That's all the markers of something that's wormable. The one thing that does mitigate it a little bit is NFS 4.1 is not impacted by this. Only ones impacted are NFS 2 or version 2 or version 3, uh, which you can clear out with a simple PowerShell, which is, pull up my document here instead of my blog, set-NFS server configuration, and then enable NFS v2 false and v3 false. Just that one PowerShell command right here, and that will, if you are using NFS 2 or 3, it will disable those. Uh, don't run that without knowing your environment thoroughly. However, uh, if there is a chance where you're requiring two or three in your system to work. So make sure you're okay to protect it and force it to four. And if you are, go ahead. If not, uh, get patched as soon as possible because that one is wormable. Uh, the last we're going to cover, and this one is also a 9.8, is the 29.130. And this one is using LDAP on the domain controller. So it's the same thing, attack vector network, Low complexity, no user interaction, no authentication. All of that is terrible. The one that makes this one a little bit less critical is if you are, if you have not messed with your LDAP settings, you're secured. If you have gone in, and let me find a, the max receive buffer on the LDAP policy, if that has been increased past the, uh, past the default setting, then you are at risk. If it's at the defaults are lower, you're fine. And if you're going in and taking a look at it, want to know what that number is, it is... 10,485,760 bytes. So as long as you go to your LDAP policy, you're that or lower, you're fine. If you're higher, you might want to lower that temporarily until you can get patched, and then you can raise it back up if you had to have it for a specific reason. Uh, otherwise, if you never mess with that, you're safe from that one. Overall, this is, I mean, over, not a lot of patches overall, but it's, it's bad. There's some real bad ones in there. A couple of them that can be wormable depending on your environment. So... If you can't patch right away after testing, uh, just go and see where your NFS is. Uh, make sure you haven't messed with your LDAP, and you should be secure enough until you are able to patch. Uh, if you're looking to a way to automate that for you, you can use PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory. Every time there's a patch, we'll go through, and you can have it set on a schedule. We'll download that update, and we'll push it out to your lab. Uh, as soon as the patches come out, make it so your testing starts without you having to look at it. And once you approve the testing, you can send it out to the rest of your environment. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan. Jordan.